Let's be real, the episode where Flint Marco slash Sandman gets rock hard twice is the best episode of Spectacular Spider-Man. Which is a weird thing to say about a children's cartoon, but hey, I'm simply a weird dude. Anyways, Season 2, Episode 5, titled First Steps, was the awesome episode that hit for me on a different level. Because of the blossoming romance, Venom's presence, and Sandman's effective involvement. The writer for this episode, Victor Cook, really cooked here. I'll see myself out. First, this episode showed the first steps of my favorite couple, Peter Parker and Liz Allen, which their romance started off pretty sweet. Honestly, I was really happy to see Liz happy because Peter actually cared about Liz and gave her the attention she deserved, as she should, because Liz Allen is a perfect girl that should be respected and shouldn't be taken for granted, being too good for Pete. It honestly would be a damn shame if Peter fumbled her. But that rant is for another video. Next, it's Peter's paranoia of Venom in this episode which makes this episode so interesting. It was like Peter was getting gaslighted for every time he thought he saw Eddie around. Funny enough, it was Peter's paranoia of that big black fang that led Venom into his and Eddie Brock's life. Bro bit himself in the ass on that one. And Eddie Brock was an absolute Hall of Fame gaslighter. Which, by the way, Eddie Brock crashing a high schooler's birthday party was the most low-life thing I've ever seen Eddie do. This guy's a grown-ass man making first steps with high schoolers. Fuck! Is wrong with y'all? Just keep this man 30 feet away from any high school, please. Side note, the visual style of this episode is so creative, playing as happy birthday videos from the high school cast before and after every segment, with the dialogue of each segment feeling very unique and personal, really, really hinting at Eddie Brock, even though it's intended for Flash Thompson. Spectacular Spider-Man handles that type of dialogue really well, and they even do that again in the penultimate episode of the series, which is just deliciously written. Finally, it's Sandman's involvement that was truly the heart of this episode, showing how a simple character can leave such an impact. In this episode, Flint Marco is actually questioned about his motives of his criminal actions, how he could bring a lot of things. He could bring a lot of joy with his sand-bending abilities, and he can also bring a lot of chaos. It doesn't seem like he wants to do either. He just wants to do his own thing with petty robbery, chasing after his dearly beloved big score. But it never seems like Sandman wants to take over New York City, even though he has the power to do so. Honestly, he could destroy New York if he wanted to. Instead, at the end of the episode, Flint Marco chose to do the opposite, sacrificing his well-being for the safety of others on that ship, and even for the safety of his enemy, Spider-Man. Albeit, he caused most of that damage in the first place, but hey, he's still innocent in my book. And yeah, we know that Flint Marco survived that explosion at the end, but it doesn't mean he left the same selfish man, truly making his first step in the right direction. See what it did there? And that's the last time we saw Sandman, which is truly a shame because he's low-key one of the stronger written characters in the show. A really fun character to watch overall. Imagine if there was a season three, what kind of dynamic that Peter and Flint would have. It would have been so awesome and really an interesting thing to explore for a future season. I guess that's just wishful thinking because Spectacular Spider-Man is gone for fucking good and it's a damn tragedy. But that rant is for another video. Overall, Spectacular Spider-Man's best episode is season two, episode five's first steps because of the blossoming romance between Peter and Liz, Venom's presence that gaslighted Peter to bringing back the monster, and Sandman's effective involvement. And of course, the overall visually creative segments that were so fun to watch. It's just great. Honestly, it's gonna sound really weird, but Sandman sacrificing himself and getting rock hard was truly inspirational. And it really gives us hope that no matter what we've done in our past, it's really one action that can change everything for us and change the path that we have been heading towards. That's the power that we have, that no matter what we've done in our past, it's all about what we do now. 